I'm happy to talk about this. Okay, thanks, Brady. As, as a journalist, I'm very interested in science being done in public. I'm very aware of how peer review works, and I'm aware of the arguments for it, and I'm not saying we shouldn't have it, but I'm not going to talk about it because it's not as interesting to me. In terms of doing science in public, I think it should happen, and I think it's in the best interests of science. I think people who try and engage the public with science feel frustrated and they lament that people aren't interested in science. But why do people watch fo so much football? What, all they care about is football. Why, why aren't they more interested in science? I think we should look at the football model. With football, they don't just publish the results in the newspaper every week and you go through the results and go, that's who won and that's who lost. Excellent, now I know. <laughs> People are engaged with football because they live it and they understand what went into those results at the end. They, were, they watched the moment that Wayne Rooney missed the penalty and fell down with his head in his hands. They saw the match. They lived through the nil-nil draw, the drudgery of that, that winter's day when they sat in the stadium and had a terrible day, but they knew it was leading to something bigger. Maybe it would lead to a trophy at the end of the season. People engage with things that they understand and that they've seen. They don't engage with one paper every year or two and a press release. I think if people know what went into that paper and that press release and the doors are opened a bit more and they see the ups and the downs and what you do, even when it's boring and when it's exciting and all the emotion of it and the humanity of it, because it's humans who do science still, I think when you allow people to see that, people become more engaged and more interested, and I think that has a lot of benefits.